to determine the success or failure of any new startup venture we need to compute the value of this given venture and the value of any option that can be embedded to this venture at its terminal life for that purpose let's see an example on the screen we see certain financial projections for a newly startup venture which is named as the alligator alley it is a restaurant that is intended to serve alligator meat there are four years financial projections that starts from the sales which are 300000 from year 1 to year 2 and then there is an increase of uh, 600000 in year 3 and 100000 in year 4 the cash flows from operations are negative for the first to two years whereas these are positive for the later years and increase in working capital is also there from year 1 to year 4 if we see the net cash flows from the year 1 to year 4 we see that there is negative net cash flows during the earlier two years whereas these cash flows are positive for the later years starting from year 3 and then if we see the present value of the terminal value and from this terminal value we can uh, calculate the present value of this restaurant project and that is 582,561 now to get start this project we need an initial cash flow and that is the cost of the building which is 700,000 and if we see that the present value of cash outflow is 700,000 whereas the present value of cash inflow is 582,000 so resulting present value is the negative present value which is negative NPV of 1,17,439 dollars so there is a negative NPV associated this with this project and the implications for this project is that these projections are based on the expectations including there are 50 percent chances that the meat will become popular in the region and so it will fetch more cash flows for the firm than the projected one and equal chances are there that the meat will become less popular so it will fetch less cash flows for the firm than the projected cash flows this means that this uh, restaurant would not be funded with further capital if there were no possibility of the expansion by the owner so we can see that there are options that can be embedded in this project and these options are of two types like the first option is that the project can be abandoned under bad conditions and whereas the project can be expanded under the good conditions now let's see how this will work so we have to choose any of the options let we choose the option of expansion now there is a strategy to cater the uh, regions where the alligator meat is already popular so the forecast of the quick expansion is subject to the success of the first restaurant in those areas then we see that after four years if the project goes successful after four years 30 more restaurants can be opened uh, this means that we need first three years to run the first restaurant smoothly and successfully in order to get it run very successfully and also to get enough amount of information to place an accurate value for the further forecasting to open 30 new projects so we see that the successful running of the first unit will allow in the fourth year to open uh, and get open the avenues for getting new capital from the external world but that will happen after the four years and then after the four years the firm will be able to open 30 new restaurants in the regions now let's see how we can value this this project and the uh, embedded options we see that the net present value of the rest single restaurant is negative 
and that is 117,439. So there is no chance of funding for the possibility of the additional capital because for that purpose we need to be successful then only there will be the possibility of setting up 30 new units. This means that success will lead to the following observations because the total of setting up 30 new projects will be uh, will be recurring uh, the cost of 21 million dollars and the present value of cash flows at the four years will be 17.43 million dollars uh, 17.48 million dollars and if we convert this amount into the present value right now the amount will become to 8.43 million dollars we are assuming a discount rate of 20 percent at which we have discounted these uh, future cash flows this means now that the bus this business is essentially a call option with the feature of exercise price of 21 million dollars and the underlying assets worth of 8.43 million dollars so this option is apparently out of money because of the negative NPV earned by the first project now we have enough information to go for valuing the project through the help of black school model where we have the stock price of 8.43 million dollars and the excess price is 21 million dollars the term to maturity is four years the riskiness of the return on the firm's assets is equal to three, uh, 50 percent and the uh, continuous rate of return compounded is equal to 3.5 percent the value of this option will be determined using the black school formula which will be working in three steps at first step we need to determine the value of d1 and d2 and at the second step we need to determine the value of nd1 and nd2 using the uh, normal distribution function through the excel mode then when we have all the required information with us we can put these available information in the bs model and through this model we can determine the value of the call and that comes to 1.454 million dollars this means that the value of the business including the cost of the first restaurant is basically equal to 1.337 million dollars and that has been reduced from 1.45 million dollar due to the result that we have negative NPV on our first project or first restaurant. Now we can draw a conclusion from this example that the first unit is earning a negative NPV. Due to this the investors will not uh, invest in this loss earning unit and as a result there will be no capital raising in the future. But if the operation of the uh, first project goes successful then there will be the chance of expansion and that chance of expansion will be offered to the investors so the investors will be uh, happily willing to give additional money to the firm's owners to open 30 new restaurants in the regions so we can see that virtually every business has both options options to abandon and options to expand uh, but only uh, an option say the option of expansion can be appropriate it is better to go for the uh, option of expansion but uh, ignoring any of the two options may lead towards an undervaluation of the given project.